What's up, YouTubers? This is Over Yonder Lander. I'm going to give you a walk around the Gobi trailer. Come on. Start at the front. Got a max articulating hitch. If you haven't seen one of these, they work awesome. Pivots here, on the pin, and independently here, 360 degrees. Got a propane tank here, feeds the tankless hot water heater that's hidden underneath the gas can and is plumbed to the back to feed the barbecue grill. Got an electrical storage center box here, solar connector, got your shore power connector. When you're hooked up to shore, you got a 110 outlet here, or if you have your generator hooked up, you can run your 110 one right off that. Inside the box here, got a deep cycle battery, solar controller, some wheel chocks, tool for the stabilizers. We keep our 90 watt solar panel rolled up in there. Uh, you could, don't have to put it on a roof rack, you can put it in the campsite, stake it down. <clears throat> we did that last night so that when the sun came up this morning it started charging while I slept in. Got cutouts here for heat and AC. Got down to about 40 degrees last night. Pretty cold, but a couple blankets in there. No problem. This baby is insulated. Solid. Stargazer window on a clear night. You can see the stars. Come on. Go around the back here. Water fuel tank. Uh, tank over the axle holds 24 gallons. Keeps the trailer nice and nice and stable. On the back here we've got trash roo. If you don't know what these are, if you don't have one, I recommend it. Keeps the campsite clean and you don't have to keep any trash inside your vehicle. Awesome. Mounted to the spare tire for the trailer. This is also swing out tire gate. Has prep tables on it. And this has two two mounting positions. You can mount here and still open the hatch in a parking lot situation. <clears throat> it's windy. Keeps this thing from blowing into the car next to you. But full camp mode, swings out to here. Got a mount here, hang your barbecue grill on it. If you're not using the grill, it's a prep table. Same over here. Just like that, easy. Here's your drain for the sink. Yes, it has a full kitchen. And unlike teardrop trailers, when you open up the hatch, you lose all this free shelter. This is instant shelter. You know, if you need to pull over, make a quick meal on your road trip, or you know, you don't want to set out the awnings, this makes quick instant shelter. Pull the two releases. Pull the sink out, galley. Got a little RV wash bucket, dry bucket, big utensil holder. Don't use this as a cutting surface. Jeff will get mad at you. You can have him make you a custom one. Storage organization at its finest. Got room for our camp chef. Mount that up here. Well, mount it, put it here. Run it off the side propane tank here. 
plenty of storage. We still have plenty of room here. We've got more than enough gadgets and gizmos for our adventures. It's a Costco tub here. Show you guys how big this is. I'm about 6'4", 280. Really, I'm my like 5'7 with shoes on. But, you get the idea. And, uh, these totes, you can fit two more in the other cabinets. You can fit one on each side there, if you like that kind of organizing. Got another drawer here. Holds a six-pack. We have our... Camp Chef stove hose, gallon of extra water, fire extinguisher, some bear spray. We'll be putting all this to use here in a minute. We just got up a little bit ago. <clears throat> Skipped over the most important part here. We can check out your how much battery power we got. Make sure the solar is activated. We can see how much amps is being drawn, you know, what are the devices you have hooked up. Water tank, water tank level. Got a light switch here. Thanks. And this is for the water pump. When you turn this on, you want to be careful, it's going to sneeze a little. But it's got water on demand. Over here is your quick connect for the barbecue. Just plug in your hose, hook it on the mount here. Got some more storage here. Got our Ziploc storage bags. That's about it for the back. Come on over here to the dark side. So not only do we use this propane tank for our camp chef stove, we also have a portable fire pit. Bring it out, set it out here, instant fire. <clears throat> Got the EXO jack wheel. When this thing's down, you can push this trailer anywhere you want. A little easier when you have some help, but you can do it. <clears throat> Under here, like I showed in the beginning, Tankless water heater, hook a shower here, mount it here, hot outdoor showers. We also have a pop-up privacy tent with the bathroom. You take hot showers in there too. Uh, when the weather's cold, keeps it nice and warm in there. You still don't want to come out. All right, we'll show you guys the inside here. This is where the magic happens. Got screened in windows. Let me get these cabinets open. I'm gonna pull those bags out, show you actually how much goes in there. It's a queen size mattress. We did uh, go out and purchase ourselves an extra memory foam topper. We uh, sleep on a water bed, so I like it plush. So, this is just the clothes from one storage side area. Still have plenty on the top shelves and on the side. You organize it however you want. It's got a ceiling fan. You can run that in any weather. It's fully shrouded. You don't have to pop it up. Got lights on the... I guess you could call it a headboard. Reading lamps. 
There are vents inside here for the heat and AC. You can turn those and aim the air wherever you'd like. <clears throat> underneath, underneath here, kind of hard to see in the daylight, but this controls under cabinet lighting here. This one here in the middle is going to be your uh, rock crawling lights. They shine underneath here. And then you've got porch lights out here. All of these are extremely bright. And same three switches on the other side. Control the lights on that side of the trailer. The nice thing about having doors on both sides, you can exit or enter without crawling over your significant other. <clears throat> and uh, sleeping uh, this way under the stargazer window great night's sleep um, plenty of headroom uh, we have a zero degree double sleeping bag put in here in extreme weather conditions and you still have plenty of room so that's it for the walk around we've got two awnings I'll make a separate video of those